I'm back at Alton Towers today. Before we get started, there's just one thing I've got to do. Renew my annual pass. annual pass all renewed so let's start exploring Alton Towers and there's been a few changes to Alton Towers since my last visit I will talk more about that when we get there if you can tell by the font all around me, we've arrived at the Wicker Man. Well, you guys know this is probably one of my favourite rides here at Alton Towers, if not the favourite ride at Alton Towers. It's absolutely amazing. And the pre show is incredible. It's just crazy how they've managed to capture fire and wood at the same time. That'll be me in a few minutes. Get in and get started. but it seems to be different timings on it because I remember the last time I rode it that you stopped for a minute inside the actual wicker man itself before you carried on and that never happened this time so maybe they've just changed a bit with the programming but even so it was still a really good ride and since I've arrived now at Shark Bait Reef why don't we go in and have a look and of course Shark Bait Reef here is run by Sea Life Centre and Sea Life Centre is, is another Maryland attraction. And it's so beautiful. I love this tank. All the different colours of the fishes themselves blend quite well into this tank. It's so clear, it's beautiful. Of course this Sea Life Centre inside the park isn't as big as like a normal Sea Life Centre. Well, be pork, pork fish. And of course, 
there's some rays and sharks in here. In this big blue world. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but my voice sounds different in this area. Tell me if you notice the difference from here to being out here. Don't know if the camera picked that up, but there was a slight difference, like a more echoey difference when I was inside that tunnel. I'm not sure if the camera actually picked up or not. Okay, I take this back. This place is much bigger, much bigger than I thought it was. It's super awesome. And of course, the tunnel. That was different. Remember shark, it's your friends, not food. fishies in this tank. Not, not too sure how I feel about that. I was enjoying the shark bait reef until I saw that round tank. There was far too much fish in that tank. It was, I felt it was kind of, kind of packed in and I don't think it was quite a good environment for the fish but, but that's just me. I'm now heading towards Galactica and that is probably my favourite ride here at the park. And of, and of course I will not be able to take you on with me because it's a Maryland park here. I've got exclusive access to the Disney Skyliner opening up today. Like, that's the Skype, so if that's bunkers, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that it takes to carry them to where they want to go in the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, So I hope you guys enjoyed that exclusive ride in the Disney Skyliner. And I must say, these vehicles at Alton Towers look suspiciously like the ones at Disney World. And if that's the case, those ventilation at the top of the Skyliner vehicle there, I don't think would be adequate in the hot Florida heat. But who knows, they may have a better system than the one here, but the vehicles look exactly the same. I'm now getting a bit hungry now, so I've decided to eat at the roller coaster restaurant. And it seems quite an interesting concept to me. So, let's Oh! He's that giving me a heart attack. It seems like an interesting concept, and let's see more about it when we enter. So I'm now inside the roller coaster restaurant. 
This is my first time eating here and it's a kind of a bit different of a restaurant. Take a look. What you can see here is somebody's food going to their table. It looks pretty cool. And there we are, it's arrived at that person's table. And that's what will happen when our food arrives. So when you order, you have to order using a tablet and you have to select your seat number. So your seat number is here. And for us today, we are seat number 10. And everybody at your table is advised to order for that same seat number so that they all arrive at the same time. And another thing is that if you wanted to starter, for example, select like starters, you would order your starter and then wait until they arrive before you then order your main courses. So here are the main courses. And then wait till they arrive before you order your puddings. And here's the options for puddings. And, obviously, and here's the sides options as well. And in terms of drinks, you've got your usual sodas, and then there's some mocktails here. I've not gone for any of the mocktails or any of the cocktails. And if you've got special dietary requirements like I have, you, you go into the main, for example, and say, for example, you wanted the burger. You'd then say, obviously, no thanks to your fries. You'd, any of the sides, so you'd pick whatever side you wanted. Okay, so this is how you order, whatever side you wanted. And if you have any allergies, like I said, you go into special requirements and you say what they are here. So, for example, for me, it'd be gluten dairy free. And then you put the name of the chef that came and spoke to you. Now back to my order. So this is the order, right? So we have got some Coke, we've got cheeseburger, some sides. And if we go back up here, you've got what I ordered, which was the Arabiata pasta of chicken and the special requirements was gluten and dairy free and my chef today is Lisa. And once you've ordered everything, all you have to do is click send to kitchen. As simple as that. And there's mine's arrived. That's my Arabiata chicken. And I'm still waiting for my garlic bread, but that shouldn't be too long. And just as I speak, that's my garlic bread arrived. I tried to make it look a bit presentable on the branded plate. And I'll let you know what I think about it once I'm done. So that's me had my meal now, and I have to say, it cost me £17.10, that was before my discount, and then I paid, I think it was £14.7 with the discount. And for the price, is it worth it? Yes, I would say so, because of the theming in, the, in there how everything is comes comes down in some sort of like roller coaster system. We really do pay attention with your allergies, but this is where I'm clear. Oh my gosh, not again. But here's what I have to say. I ordered my meal at one o'clock. Well, maybe a bit 20 past one. It didn't arrive till two. And told me that there was and this was due to there being loads and loads of people's allergies in at the same time. But I was getting to the stage where I was going to say, you forget it, I just go. But when the meal came, to be honest, it wasn't the best Arabiata chicken I've ever had. But for the price, if you include the theming in that, yes, it was worthwhile. But if you've got a food allergy, I would say you might be waiting a long time to get your food, depending on if there's many people's allergies in the restaurant at the same time as you. This seems to be like a wrong place for me to do my review of the restaurant. So, would I eat there again? Yes, I would. Put into account how long the food takes to arrive into my day, because it's now after two o'clock and I've been in there for over an hour. But, it was a good experience and I recommend it.
So I went on the Skyliner again. I should really stop calling it the Skyliner. But anyway, went on that again and I'm now at the other end of the park because now I've arrived at one of the new bits I mentioned earlier. And that is the dungeon. And now Alton Towers dungeon is from the same family as the Edinburgh dungeon, the London dungeon, the San Francisco dungeon. And like with all dungeons, I will probably not be able to film any of it. But we can only ask. So that's me just out of the Alton Towers dungeon and I really liked it. Some bits were pretty similar to the Edinburgh dungeon which I've done before and other bits like kind of differed. Like for example they don't have the, the hangman's ride within that attraction uh, but the, for example the judge scene at the beginning. The storyline for that was pretty much the same and the torturer's chamber was also the same as in Edinburgh. And I kind of got, I got shouted at by the torturer because I knew what all the torture weapons were for and how they were used. But uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. And uh, my friend who was with me, he got picked on, which was amazing. But the whole thing took around about an hour and a half, something like that. So it was, it was a really fun experience. But if you come here, it's an added extra. So if you don't have an annual pass, it costs £5 to do the dungeon, but if you do have an annual pass, it's £2.50 per person. As you can see, I've now boarded the Skyliner again. The natural water here has made the Temple Lake home to some of the biggest ghost and mirror carp you're ever likely to see. One super duper sized ghost carp goes by the name of Jaws. Well, he weighs a whopping 30 pounds and measures a mighty meter in length. Frankie, wildlife is everywhere in the park. And indeed, there are some pretty wild stories about how some of them have reveled in the fast roller coaster lifestyle. Turns out our badgers are a breed of speed freaks. The whole family of them living under one of our rides by day before coming out to play when night falls. It's always the quiet ones, I tell you. Wild stories about how some of them have reveled in the fast roller coaster lifestyle. Turns out our badgers are a breed of speed freaks. The whole family of them living under one of our rides by day before coming out to play when night falls. It's always the quiet ones, I tell you. Welcome to our Welcome, Skyliners. We hope you're having a simply splendid day here at Alton Towers Resort. We know it's time to sit back and give you the rest of the feast your eyes on. So I've decided to move away from the hustle and bustle of the theme park and I'm in a completely different world. This is the gardens of Alton Towers. Look at that, it's amazing. The skyliners above our heads, but that is absolutely incredible. I want to see if I can get a closer look at this because I don't know what that is. I want to see if I can get down closer to it. This is the first time exploring the gardens. According to this, the dark forest is this way, but have a look. It appears I can't get down there, but I did see a path further up here that could lead us down there. So you're exploring this in real time with me. It's pretty incredible, this place. I haven't actually got a clue where I am going because for me this is this is new and you wouldn't expect something like this to be in the middle of a theme park oh wow look at that that is just incredible nope we're moving further away but I might be able to get it from the other side if we can reach that way and there we go. 
What is that place? That is incredible. Wow. Just wow. This is a perfect time to say that Alton Towers used to be a uh, estate and then that estate got had started to have a few attractions and then that's what built Alton Towers. But at the end of the day this is still an estate and so the gardens have remained and is part of the park itself. So I don't know if I can come around this way yet. That'll be a no. So I will just carry on this way. I think I might be coming to a dead end. Yes, it isn't a dead end for most people, it's just as for me. And that goes into the forest. I would have thought of a better place to end my vlog here. Had a great time today. We got on quite a lot of rides. We got on Wickerman, we got on Oblivion, we got on we got on Galactica, Jewel. We even got on the Skyliner several times today. I've got many more adventures to come, but for now, in this beautiful gardens of Alton Towers, it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.